Amy Love here, and please excuse this awkward angle of my desk, but um, now is the time that I have to film, and all of a sudden, the sun has just decided to just blare through this window, and it is just... So in my regular spot, there's so much so much sunshine that you would be able to see a thing. So I had to kind of scooch over to... Um, an area of my desk where the sun is not shining. <laughs> so I came on to just share with you these uh, little projects I worked on today, which were just so much fun. And I used the beautiful cabochons from Angel Dream Crafts. Let me see if I can get a little bit of everything out here because they're so gorgeous. I love them and I have so many that I have just been really waiting to have uh, a chance to play with these because she got these amazing frames for the cabochons and I'm like yes so um, I got to play with these today and I was very excited because I have quite the stash of cabochons and um, you could, of course can make your own dangles for them but I was very excited when she got these frames so let me show you I used this fabric and some beautiful fabric I got from my friend Marie. She gifted to me, which is this. I love it. And I needed to make some more notebooks for craft fair season. So I used those two fabrics. Oh no, there's like, I hope you can see these okay. Because I just love how these turned out. So I tore strips of the fabric and then I just sewed them down on top of each other. So there's, you know, all the layers. Then I used two of these beautiful heart doilies that I have been hoarding. They were gifted to me by my friend Julie Kay. Thank you, Julie. And it just, I never wanted to use them because I wanted to keep them forever, but then that seemed silly. So I thought, well, this is the project because look how pretty it looks on here. So I hand sewed um, the buttons on, which I think are so pretty. Look at all, they're all different pink buttons. And then I have these little burlap hearts in my stash that I got at Hobby Lobby. These are so fun to play with. And they, they have two sizes and this is the big one. But I thought that was so cute. And then this is the cabochon I used in this frame. And you see, it is, the frame is bigger than the cabochon. And you could, if you want, like put some rhinestone cup chain in there or some flat back pearls. Or you could even put some lace behind that if you wanted to. But I just left it. I think it's pretty like that. And then I popped on one of her bows. Now I had them where you could, they would move, you know, they were dangly and I thought that was pretty, but honestly this flips up like this and then that's just gonna I didn't want that knocking around so then I did secure that down with a little bit of glue and I just they're so pretty I am enjoying altering these books so much and I picked ones that had like this really great paper inside so you could like art journal on these if you wanted to and I'm hoping they do really well at the craft fairs so when I get my craft fair table practice setup I will film it so you all can see but then here is the other one I made they all the exact same things except a different frame and a different cabochon isn't that beautiful oh there's my dog let me see what's going on with him I'll be right back all right I don't know what he's on about but I have to f finish filming this so that I can make dinner oh he's gonna come upstairs and tell me about it hey Rue Hi, buddy. So um, after I made the two notebooks, I decided I still wanted to play because I was enjoying the, I'm really loving this fabric together. I think it's just so pretty. So I have these wood, wooden tags in my stash. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby and I keep them just on the side of my desk. So whenever I want to play, I just pull one out and create them and I've, really been enjoying that so this one has the same layers of fabric and then I put this trim and some beautiful rhinestone cup chain which you can also get at Angel Dream Crafts and then popped on one of these like velvety flowers also in Kim's shop 
and then I uh, used the circle frame and I used one of the cabochons the uh, clock face which I love I'm hoping that that will no never when I want it to <laughs> it's so cute though and it isn't as big oh there it goes as the frame either but I decided not to put anything around it because I just think it's pretty just like that and then I popped on one of her bows in white. So isn't that so cute? So I actually, um, actually, I absolutely love how these turned out. They were so fun to play with. I would love if you would leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I will of course put a link below to Kim's shop and to all the other designers on the team who are just making beautiful things and very inspiring. Be sure you go and check them out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye everybody.